The snake does shook my say that they worry as the national plan, so I'm saying they grow now, in order to improve the lives of millions of Niger people across the country. The senator when we say that they are not to one motion when we say Senator Stella or a move when we say call make they put visionary budget driven national framework for grant. He said the development uh, in this is when we say they grant and, and nothing to write on about. Senator Odua say even with Niger plenty of more national plans for the last few years, he said the nation never still get budgeting process right. The senator the committee for the national planning, finance and appropriation. He said he made organize one roundtable talk with Obonga stakeholders to look for the way forward on how to improve the implementation of Niger's existing development plans. With the 47.7 of the population and a figure of 94,734,000 million as of November 2020, one third of the nation's children are never enrolled in school. And so Nigeria currently has the highest rate of HIV and AIDS-related deaths in the world. We are convinced that there is an urgent need to identify and eliminate the obstacles that have posed the problem to successful conceptualization and implementation of previous national development plan in Nigeria ahead of the next generation of national plan. How best way we can come out of this door drum and make a good plan that will work for all of us in conjunction with the Ministry of National Plan? I quite agree with that. But also, we should look inward and look into how do we even harness these resources that is available before us? How do we block all the leakages? How do we try to show up our revenues? Over-reliance and depending on one source of revenue has not helped us as a nation. We all know about long-term planning. And we, know, we all know that there should be linkages between budgeting and um, economic growth or socio-economic growth. We understand that. But why have we not been able to achieve that in Nigeria? That is the real question. And I think that was what the chief whip was touching on. And I think this motion goes to the heart of that problem, especially in the prayers. And so I think it is the work of this Senate to investigate and come up with solutions to making sure that we continue to link planning, particularly long-term planning, to medium-term planning, to budgeting, which eventually ends up in economic growth. We are directionless when it comes to planning, national planning and budget. Nigeria is signatory to so very many international treaties and conventions in the area of health, where we say universal health coverage, 15% of our annual budget should go to health. We are not honoring it. Even the act of the National Assembly over our own health act, we are not honoring it. So in which case, the planning that we have nationally in the direction of health, we are not respecting the goal. It's a whole lot you know, different from what came in the subsequent year, and then of course what came up in 2020. So Mr. President, I want to say that the solution to all of this, you know, yes, you have suggested, there is nowhere in the world where money is placed alongside with development that there is no planning. The problem, which is posited here,